day here in Mexico City and we are standing in front of Palacio de Bellas Artes. Someone told us it's the most beautiful building in the city so we wanted to check it out. I'm, in, I'm inclined to agree. I don't know if it's the most beautiful because we haven't seen all of them yet, but the architecture, the detailing, it's fantastic mm, to say yeah. the very least. Inside is an opera house, also a museum. Um, we're not going to take a tour of that today because honestly I'm too excited to see the Soko. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the second biggest in the world right behind Moscow, so I'm super excited to see it as well. This does? down Calle Madero right now and this is Madero, like a Madero. 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 Okay. and there's tons of old buildings here with really cool architecture tons of people yelling at you lots of foot traffic <laughs> and during our trip we forgot to mention this up to this point but we have the pleasure of being accompanied by our good friends from Guadalajara Emma and Shania <laughs> yet? Actually, no. Really? I'm too busy staring at all these pretty buildings. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. We went to two. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my effing goodness. This thing is gigantic. It's freaking huge. Complimented by the biggest flag of all time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Out of here. You're in El Centro del Centro. Are you sure? <laughs> I think that's El Centro del Centro. But that is definitely not in the center. Are you sure this isn't then? The giant flag? Quizás. ¿Dónde estás? <laughs> Right behind me here, they're doing some Aztec cleanings, like cleansing with smoke and stuff. And our friend Emma is gonna do that. Yeah, I think my cell is pretty dirty because of tequila. Yeah, I think maybe if that didn't kill my demons, maybe lung cancer will. <laughs> <laughs> so rumor has it this central area of Mexico City was built on top of another city. Actually, I don't think that's a rumor. I think that's true. Very that's true. true. Actually. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching up to this point. Our video isn't over yet, but be sure to subscribe to our channel so you see our upcoming Mexico City videos and more videos about our travels across Mexico and the world. Literally right next to Centro are these Aztec ruins. It was 75 a person to get in here and 45 to record. This is crazy that this is like right by the church. My suspicion is Centro was built by these ruins on purpose, but I don't know for sure. Right, right now we're going into Templo Mayor. So I'll be honest, I always wonder with ruins like this how much of it is a reconstruction because oh, yeah. especially in a place like this how many earthquakes have happened since these mm -hmm. ruins existed originally and I think that's totally okay if it's reconstructed but it just makes me wonder like how many of these walls are the actual original walls. Yeah, we were just in Lima, Peru and there there's, um, what are they, the Inca ruins mm -hmm. but they were actually, they actually constructed them to withstand earthquakes so maybe it's similar here but yeah, it's maybe. a totally different construction oh, if yeah, that's the case. Oh yeah, completely different styles. So here are the ruins, there's the square and there's the cathedral so you can see the proximity here. This guy looks like he's about to perform like some crazy dance. Don't stop, sigue, sigue. 
So behind me there are rows of 240 skulls made out of concrete, I believe? Stone? Sorry, stone. And I actually remember seeing something like this in Ahihik. They, I think, probably were trying to recreate this at a school there, so pretty interesting. And they all look different, so I imagine they're modeled after real people at the time. After seeing this, what are your favorite ruins that we've seen in Mexico? Uh, I think still Coba. Mine remain Coba. Yeah, well. I just, that experience is way too cool. Just biking through the jungle, uh -huh. you get to hike up and see over top of the treetops. Yeah, that was amazing. It's interesting to see the differences between different civilizations in different places. So, I mean, it's not to like discount this or any other ones, but I, uh -huh. I did like those Coba. Included in the price of the entry is entrance into this museum that comes after you go through the rooms. So we're checking that out now. So we're walking out right now of these ruins and we're looking at all these buildings over here. And most of them are leaning, which is super, super weird to see. I imagine it's from earthquakes, but it looks a whole lot like the buildings in Amsterdam look on the water. They're almost all leaning in different directions. Something I find super interesting about Mexico City is that when we look up directions to a place, usually it would be like, it would take, it takes five minutes to drive or 30 minutes to walk. Uh -huh. Here it's like, it takes 30 minutes to drive there or 15 minutes to walk, or sometimes they're about the other way around. 15 minutes to drive, 30 minutes to walk. No, no, because of the traffic. I have not seen it where I mean, it actually okay, takes maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but like uh, with the point I'm getting at is like with traffic, you can almost walk places faster. The amount of time you'd be waiting for the Uber. Uh huh. Yeah, I and think it's crazy. <laughs> we're going somewhere right now where the direction said nine minutes to walk, seven minutes to drive. <laughs> So our feet and legs were getting really tired. We decided to pop down random street and find the place Pasawero. And I ordered this, what the heck is it called? Zapoteco, which is mezcal, kalua, espresso, and whipped cream. Looks dangerous and delicious, but I'm tired and I also want to drink. So, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> promotion for two for one margaritas so I got two of them for me. <laughs> this is a lot of salt, huh? <laughs> sí, hay muchos. La gente nos dijeron que unas comidas chilangas que necesitamos probar es gorditas, así que vamos a probar estas. Antes okay. de la lluvia. Rápido, rápido. So, yeah, so um, we've been sitting at a restaurant across the way from this place. We've seen it busy for like the last three hours. That's how you know it's really good street food. So we're going to try a gordita. Disculpe. Sí, señor. Necesito ayuda. A ver, dígame. Uh, ¿Qué debo probar? Uh, gordita con queso, con guisado, huarache, o con guisado, otra vez. Mm, okay. <laughs> Yo digo que... Allá veo que dice chicharrón. Las gorditas con chicharrón son muy buenas y muy famosas, entonces... ¿Con chicharrón? ¿Dónde está chicharrón? O más abajo, mira. Chicharrón. O oh, carne, ah. de, cebra. carne de, ah. cebrada. de cebrada. Chicharrón o carne de cebrada. ¿De cebrada? De cebrada. No, de cebrada means shredded. Oh, okay. Carne de cebrada con queso, por favor. No. Carne de cebrada. ¿Y cebolla? ¿Es cebolla? Uh, it, has, it has onion on it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bistec está bien. Este es puro de maíz. Sí. Con chicharrón. Con chicharrón. Okay. Por aquí. Con Para comer aquí o para llevar. Para llevar o para para llevar. Para, para llevar, por favor. Una quesadilla. Una quesadilla. No es mexicano. <laughs> So, this was 28 pesos. Why don't you try it? A gordita, un taco gigante. Hmm? Oh my god.
No, I see every year. Good. Okay, go ahead for a while. What do you think? <laughs> I'm still chewing. <laughs> for 28 pesos, tons of food. It's good, but I'm not like overly like, oh, this is amazing. But we haven't put the sauce on. We wear Mexico City, it's well known to have very spicy salsas. Oh good, oh good, yeah. As if the rest of Mexico know. wasn't spicy See, enough for me. That was actually super good. We put the salsa on there. My mouth is on fire now, but pretty yeah. flavorful to be honest. I just took way too big of a bite to begin with. Like an embarrassingly large bite. I don't know what I was doing. If we were going to do a $10 challenge here, we'd have to go there. So we ordered an Uber and I think it's taken about like 25, maybe 30 minutes for him to show up just because he got stuck behind some roadblock or something. But now we're getting in, finally. We're getting out of Centro. <laughs> I'll sit in the middle. So it has been a very long and fun day. We are officially sunburned. I'm so tired. Tired. My feet have blisters on them. I but cannot I be on camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at our hotel. Might have to call it for the day and pick up tomorrow with some more shenanigans, but bye for now. New day, new adventures. We are climbing up this hill to see Castillo de Chapultepec because Tons, dozens and dozens of people recommended we go here. It's got great views of the city we hear. 75 pesos per person, 45 to film. for this. You coming with us? <laughs> what do you know about this place? This place, uh, Castillo de Chapultepec, used to be the home of uh, President Porfirio Diaz. Well, he wasn't a president, he was a dictator. He remained in power like a thousand years, a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> Biblical age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it, this was like his home a long time ago and this place has a beautiful view of the city. You can see Polanco, Reforma. Yeah, we have to go way up this hill. Yeah, way yeah. up. From here you can see how far the park extends that way. Just trees as far as you can see. up here is amazing and I love the breeze and it's just as foresty up here as it is down throughout the rest of the park. It's pretty serene except for the concert going on down there that echoes throughout oh, this yeah. entire park. <laughs> this had to be the fanciest mode of transportation back in the day. Does it turn into a pumpkin after midnight? The detail on this roof is insane. Oh my gosh. Wow. This BBVA building is my favorite modern building that I've seen in the city. And at night it's incredible. It lights up with all these super cool colors. And the only thing that matters to me with this building is that that green part at the top is a slide and it ends at the orange part and goes all the way down to the bottom of the building. How many floors is that? That would be the most fun slide ever. That would be so dizzy. Oh Imagine yeah. Imagine going around in circles. Probably be fun for about the first three floors. <laughs> If you're like us and you don't really typically care for going to museums and stuff, we would highly recommend this because you get 360 views of the city, awesome views. You go I mean, upstairs. People told us they were good views, but I was yeah. not expecting like panoramic 360 uh -huh. views, like better than you're gonna get in most skyscrapers, I think. And then you come up here to the top floor and there's these beautiful gardens and it still has museum elements, like you can see what the rooms used to look like and all that. But yeah, definitely worthwhile. So as if we didn't realize the city was freaking gigantic before, uh -huh. coming up here you just like, I mean it's... As far as you can uh, see in every direction. In every direction, Mexico City is just, it's so big, so really puts it into perspective. Jordan! <laughs> Teasing the poor Artia. What the hell is this? It's a leaf. Get out of here. So all our walking 
around, we worked up quite an appetite and we wandered into this random restaurant and I know you're going to think this is completely crazy, but we rented out the entire thing. Do you see this? Not really. There's just no one here. <laughs> I think this is actually some type of hotel. There's actually a ton of restaurants in here, including down here is this lounge bar. And that platform where all these tables are is over top of the water. So super like ritzy and modern in here. Very interesting place. And then you just hop down the stairs and you come out here to find the weirdest slash coolest fountain I've ever seen. I don't know if you would call this a fountain even. This is so strange. Looks like a torture pond. <laughs> really it's almost like a wave pool except like of where you death. go to die. Wave pool of death. We decided to come with Emma and Shania to this pretty famous panaderia called Panaderia Esperanza and oh my gosh! It smells so good right the here. It smells! <laughs> Filled with gluten, it's none for me, but I'm gonna smell away. They have the famous tortas with chilaquiles inside, so it's like a chilaquile sandwich. As if either of those foods could get any, un any more unhealthy. <laughs> Did we buy a camera with the smell feature? <laughs> the smells. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> this is like bread paradise. Donde esta el pan sin gluten? <laughs> this bread's so good. Oh my gosh. We are taking a big box of this to Guadalajara because it's only here in Mexico City. So it doesn't matter if we leave the whole luggage here. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life in Mexico. Have I seen a panaderia with so many options? This is just amazing. I wish, I so wish I could have some of this stuff, but I, I just can't because of the skin issue I'm dealing with. I can't eat bread. This is terrible. Put a couple of Mexicans in a panaderia, and this is what happens. This is only for dinner. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, we're gonna have to cut it off there, guys. We hope this video showed just how much fun we had. It was a blast. You guys keep asking, where is Laska? How is Laska? She's back in Puerto Morelos with our good friend Trish from My Trish Advisor. Thank you so much, Trish. We don't want to bring her when we fly anywhere because they put dogs in the cargo hold of the plane and that's just not fun for Laska or any other dogs. But anyway, mm -hmm. be sure to subscribe if you want to see our upcoming Mexico City videos. We have at least two more coming up for you. And one last thing. <laughs> that bell if you want to be notified the next time we put out a new video and we'll see you 